Ever wonder who was behind the innovation that lights up your world? Our tale begins with a man named Lewis Howard Latimer, an African-American inventor and draftsman who, despite the odds, played a crucial role in the development of two revolutionary technologies, the telephone and the light bulb. Born in 1848, Latimer's life story is as captivating as his inventions. His parents, George and Rebecca Latimer, were runaway slaves who risked everything for freedom. They escaped from Virginia to Massachusetts, where Lewis was later born. Imagine, if you will, the courage and determination that must have been instilled in young Lewis from the very beginning. As a child, Latimer showed an insatiable curiosity and a knack for creativity. But these were challenging times for African Americans, and opportunities for education and advancement were limited. Nevertheless, Latimer was not deterred. At the tender age of 15, he enlisted in the U.S. Navy, serving his country during the Civil War. When Latimer returned from his service, he took a job as an office boy at a patent law firm. It was here that his latent talent for drafting, the precise technical drawing needed for patent applications, was discovered. He taught himself mechanical drawing and drafting by candlelight after his long work hours. His skill and determination soon paid off. Latimer quickly moved up the ranks to become the firm's head draftsman. And it was this skill that would catch the eye of none other than Alexander Graham Bell. In 1876, Latimer was sought out to draft the necessary drawings for Bell's telephone patent application. He worked tirelessly on these crucial drafts and the rest, as they say, is history. But Latimer didn't stop there. His ingenuity and relentless pursuit of improvement led him to join forces with Thomas Edison. His contributions were instrumental in the development of a practical carbon filament for the light bulb, a simple yet significant improvement that made electric lighting more practical and affordable. A humble beginning for a man destined to illuminate the world. Imagine a world without a simple light bulb. Difficult, right? Lewis Latimer's journey of innovation didn't stop at the drafting table for Alexander Graham Bell's telephone. Oh no, it was just the beginning. His talent for technical drawing and his innovative spirit caught the attention of several other pioneers of the time. One such pioneer was Hiram Maxim, the founder of the U.S. Electric Lighting Company. Maxim, a man with his own impressive list of inventions, saw in Latimer not just a draftsman, but a potential game-changer in the world of electric lighting. And boy, was he right. Latimer went on to develop a method of manufacturing carbon filaments for Maxim's incandescent lamps, a trailblazing move that would thrust him into the spotlight, no pun intended. But the story doesn't end there. Latimer's innovative filament caught the eye of none other than Thomas Edison. Yes, the Thomas Edison. Edison, who had been struggling to find a filament for his own incandescent lamp, saw the potential in Latimer's design. This led to a fruitful collaboration between the two, with Latimer becoming a key player in the team that would eventually give birth to the practical, everyday light bulb. So, what was it that set Latimer's filament apart? Well, it was all about longevity. Previous designs burned out quickly, making them impractical for everyday use. But Latimer's carbon filament was different. It was more durable, it lasted much longer, and it made electric lighting a viable option for the masses. Latimer's innovative spirit didn't just light up our homes, it lit up our lives. From the telephone to the light bulb, his work was instrumental in shaping the world as we know it. And yet, despite his significant contributions, he often remained in the shadows, his name unknown to many. A man behind the scenes, Latimer's work was pivotal to the inventions that shape our everyday lives. Latimer's brilliance didn't stop at inventions, did it? No, indeed, it extended far beyond the realm of mere invention. Louis Latimer was not just a prolific inventor, but a tireless innovator who constantly sought to improve upon existing technology, making it more efficient, more practical, and more accessible to all. Consider his work on the first telephone installations. At a time when the telephone was a novel and revolutionary concept, Latimer was instrumental in developing and implementing the infrastructure needed to make Alexander Graham Bell's invention a practical reality. From Boston to New York, it was Latimer who oversaw the installation of these early telephone systems. 
His work laid the groundwork for the vast interconnected communication networks we take for granted today. But that's not all. Latimer also made significant contributions to the world of lighting. He didn't just invent a better light bulb. He was also instrumental in developing the first widespread street lighting systems. At a time when nightfall meant darkness for most cities, Latimer's work brought light to the public spaces, making the streets safer and extending the active hours of the day. His efforts marked a significant step in the evolution of urban life. Now, let's talk about patents. Latimer held several, but one of his most notable is the process of manufacturing carbons. This patent, granted in the late 19th century, detailed an improved method for producing carbon filaments. These filaments, used in the production of light bulbs, were more durable and efficient than their predecessors. Latimer's process was a game-changer for the lighting industry, reducing costs and making electric light more widely available. His work illuminated homes, streets and cities, changing the way we live and work. Louis Latimer was not just a man of invention but a man of vision. His work reached beyond the confines of his laboratory, touching every aspect of our lives, from how we communicate to how we see in the dark. His legacy is not just in the devices he created, but in the world he helped to shape. Latimer, the man who lit the path for modern technology. Why isn't Latimer a household name like Edison or Bell? A question that seems to echo through the annals of history. Louis Latimer was a luminary, a beacon of innovation, yet his name remains largely obscured in the shadows of the past. This oversight is not a reflection of his achievements, but rather an unfortunate manifestation of the racial prejudice that pervaded his era. Latimer, a man of African-American descent, was born in the mid-19th century, a time when racial discrimination was rampant. Despite his groundbreaking inventions and significant contributions to the field of electrical engineering, his name was often left out of history books, his story untold, his genius unacknowledged. Latimer's inventions were revolutionary. They paved the way for the widespread use of electric light, transforming the world as we know it. Yet, he was often relegated to the background, his work attributed to others. A sad reality of the era he lived in, where the color of one's skin often determined the recognition one received. Yet, in the face of such adversity, Latimer's light never dimmed. His inventions continued to illuminate the world, his legacy living on in every flicker of an electric bulb. Fortunately, in recent years, there has been a growing recognition of Latimer's contributions. His life and work have begun to receive the recognition they deserve. Efforts are being made to honor his legacy, to remember the man who brought light into our lives. This posthumous recognition, though late, is a testament to Latimer's enduring legacy. It's a reminder that true brilliance cannot be overshadowed, that light always finds a way to shine through. An unsung hero, Latimer's legacy continues to shine in every lit bulb. His story serves as an inspiration, a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of perseverance and the indomitable spirit of innovation. So, what does Louis Latimer mean to us today? The light bulb, a symbol of ideas and innovation, is ubiquitous in our lives, from homes to offices, streets to stages. Every time we flip a switch, we are in some ways tipping our hats to Louis Latimer. His work in perfecting the carbon filament made electric lighting more practical, affordable, and widespread. His innovation has quite literally lit up our world, making the night less dark, homes more welcoming, and businesses more productive. Then there's the telephone, another invention that Latimer helped bring to life. His work with Alexander Graham Bell on the patent for the telephone was instrumental in shaping the way we communicate today. From the telephones of the past to the smartphones we can't live without today, Latimer's influence is undeniable. He helped to lay the groundwork for the communication revolution, connecting us in ways that were unimaginable before. Latimer's story is more than just a tale of innovation and invention. It's a testament to resilience, determination, and the power of an inquisitive mind. Born to runaway slaves, Latimer's journey to becoming an inventor of such significance was anything but easy. 
His story is a reminder that great ideas and innovation can come from the most unexpected places. Recognizing and honoring figures like Latimer in history is crucial. It's a way of shining a light on the rich tapestry of contributions that have shaped our world. It's about giving credit where it's due and ensuring that the stories of those who've been overlooked or sidelined are told and celebrated. In the grand scheme of things, Louis Latimer was not just an inventor. He was a trailblazer who dared to dream and innovate despite the odds stacked against him. His story is a beacon of inspiration, encouraging us to push boundaries, question the status quo, and strive for progress. Louis Latimer, a beacon of innovation and resilience, illuminates our past, present, and future. 